Hello guys, I'm here again, you know, being peaceful being. I put peaceful being on my vlog because you know this I've always been wanting to be at peace, you know, at peace in my heart and every aspects of my life, whether it's it's with family, peace like quietness, stillness, you know, that kind of peace or no trouble but nothing is perfect it always you know we always there's always storms in our lives you know there's always trials in our life there's always burden in our life and after another and then each time we always say lord why what have you done why why am i going through this but no it's not lord's fault you know we have to ask him we have we're all, it's part of our life the trials the burdens the heartaches the pains it's part of our life so we shouldn't blame we shouldn't say well why have you forsaken me we're well well to tell you the truth remember when when jesus christ was was nailed you know he, when he was like right by the cross what did he call he called father father why have you forsaken me but no those trials are just making us become more better in life you know it's part of life it's how you deal with it and if you're troubled over a decision you know what what will happen next just pray just pray so he is the Lord, we have to believe in Him, and we shouldn't doubt Him at all. Just pray, pray, that's all it is, that's all there is. So, isn't it, there's a, a word in the Bible, it's in Psalm, um, I'm not sure what page it is, but it says something, cast your burden upon me, that's what he said cast your burden that means whatever troubles you have just put it on me he will never allow the righteous to be shaken you know so we have to endure so i have no idea what problems you are facing but i know what problems i am facing but i know i know i know in my heart you're not alone you're not alone at all you may look at your life and wonder God how did I get into this mess you know it's not God's fault at all you know it's probably uh, a consequence on something that you do or I do you know but we have to pray I have this okay I have these prayers of Padre Pio in his book too and it's in Luke chapter 11 verse 9 so I say to you, ask, and it will be given you, to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will open for you. It's true, Dima. If you, don't, if you just be quiet there and don't say a word or don't pray anything, it's not going to come to you. Not all prayers are answered, but for sure, if it's not answered now, it will be answered in the future you know it might take a day or two two weeks a month years but patience be patient so but i do knock on god's door and sometimes it seems as if no answers but you know padre pio's assurance he said let us keep our thoughts continually fixed on heaven our true homeland of which this earth is merely an image let us be cheerful and calm in all circumstances, whether happy or sad, as a fitting, as it fitting to a soul that has received special training at the school of suffering. May the motives of faith and the comfort of Christian hope offer you continual support in all this. So, this is our prayer. Lord, even when it seems as if you don't hear or care about me, Keep me knocking with faith in your love for me at the door of your heart. Amen. So even if we think, you know, he, he didn't hear us, keep going, keep knocking, keep doing it, you know. God is there. He's there. He knows. 
trust him that's all i can say trust him that's the word for today trust trust the lord and he will find ways to give what is for you okay trials burdens pains heartache is part of our lives so we shouldn't be mad about it we should just keep going and deal with it and and even if we have to crawl into it we have to find ways to solve that problem and trust God that he will be there to guide us so it's no joke it's no joke prayers are so strong and just talk to him prayers is the way where you talk to God that's what I say and we did not know how we would find our way through the darkness we don't know we don't know how to get out of the darkness but for me what I do I pray I know there have been times in my own life when I have gone to bed wondering Lord where are you come on help me Lord help me you know we do that but the next day when I wake up it's different I feel different because I prayed that night before God help me what what can I do what will I do what should be the way to get out of these worries what should you know in my life Lord I've been praying this and asking for help can you listen to me again Lord you know all those prayers do something you know from your mind is it, there's nothing difficult for the Lord he hears you he knows what you want so just just pray 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 you know so for this day my words will be trust him trust him and the prayers would be Lord I trust you and I know that you're always there for me to listen to me and you know what things are to be done and you know already my path so Lord help me amen all right guys thanks again next time there's be more words of wisdom and i don't know yet how to explain it but i'm just reading the books and trying to get it from there so this is peaceful being trying to get more positive words from the bible and i haven't memorized but mostly i've been reading the psalms proverbs those are more um, I understand more of the words from there. So, bye for now and peace, always peace. And take care, everyone. And just trust Him. Trust Him, the Lord. Okay? Bye.